Assalamu alaikum friends today we will discuss famous non-muslims views about prophet Muhammad there has been more written about the prophet Muhammad than any other person on earth he has been praised very highly even by famous non-muslims one of the first examples we quote from the encyclopedia Britannica in volume number 12 Regarding Prophet Muhammad a mass of detail in the early sources shows that he was an honest and upright man who had gained the respect and loyalty of others who were likewise honest and upright men. Another impressive tribute to Muhammad peace be upon him is in the very well written work of Michael H. Hart. He states in the 100-day ranking of the most influential persons in history. He states that the most influential person in all history was Muhammad. And the Jesus peace be upon him is the second. Michael Hart's actual words. My choice of Muhammad to lead the list of the world's most influential persons. May surprise some readers and may be questioned by others. But he was the only man in history who was supremely successful. On both the religious and secular level. Lamartine a famous non-Muslims made the statement about Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. He was an apostle, philosopher orator, legislator, warrior, conqueror of ideas, restorer of rational dogmas of a cult. Without images the founder of 20 terrestrial empire and of one spiritual empire. That is Muhammad. As regards all standards by which human greatness may be measured. George Bernard Shaw, a famous writer and non-Muslim says, He must be called the savior of humanity. I believe that if a man like him were to assume the dictatorship of the modern world, he would succeed in solving its problems in a way that would bring it much needed peace and happiness. Ramakrishna Rao, an Indian Hindu professor of philosophy in his booklet, Muhammad the Prophet of Islam calls him Thay. Perfect model for human life. Professor Ramakrishna Rao explains his views. The personality of Muhammad, it is most difficult to get into the whole truth of it. Only a glimpse of it I can catch what a dramatic succession of picturesque scenes. There is Muhammad the prophet. There is Muhammad the warrior. Muhammad the businessman. Muhammad the statesman. Muhammad the orator. Muhammad the reformer. Muhammad the refuge of orphans. Muhammad the protector of slaves. Muhammad the emancipator of women. Muhammad the judge. Muhammad the saint. In all these departments of human activities, he is like a hero. What should we think about our prophet Muhammad when someone with the worldly status such as Mahatma Gandhi speaking on the character of Muhammad says in Young India. I wanted to know the best of one who holds today undisputed sway over the hearts of millions of mankind. I became more than convinced that it was not the sword that won a place for Islam in those days in the scheme of life. It was the rigid simplicity, the utter self-effacement of the Prophet, the scrupulous regard for his pleasures, his intense devotion to his friends and followers, his intrepidity, his fearlessness, his absolute trust in God and in his own mission. These and not the sword carried everything before them and surmounted every obstacle. English author Thomas Carlyle in his book Heroes and Hero Worship said, How one man single-handedly could weld warring tribes and wandering Bedouins into a most powerful and civilized nation in less than two decades. Divan Chand Sharma wrote in The Prophets of the East, Muhammad was the soul of kindness and his influence was felt and never forgotten by those around him. Muhammad peace be upon him, was nothing more or less than a human being. But he was a man with a noble mission, which was to unite humanity on the worship of one and only one God, and to teach them the way to honest and upright living based on the commands of God. He always described himself as a servant and messenger of God. The famous poetess of India Sarojini Naidu says, it was the first religion that preached and practiced democracy for in the mosque. When the call for prayer is sounded and worshippers are gathered together, the democracy of Islam is embodied five times a day when the peasant and king kneel side by side and proclaim God alone is great.
I have been struck over and over again by this indivisible unity of Islam that makes man instinctively a brother. Professor Hogronje says, The League of Nations founded by the Prophet of Islam put the principle of international unity and human brotherhood on such universal foundations as to show candle to other nations. The fact is that no nation of the world can show a parallel to what Islam has done towards the realization of the idea of the League of Nations. Edward Gibbon and Simon Oakley on the profession of Islam writes in History of the Saracen Empire I believe in one God and Muhammad an Apostle of God is the simple and invariable profession of Islam. The intellectual image of the deity has never been degraded by any visible idol the honor of the Prophet have never transgressed the measure of human virtues and his living precepts have restrained the gratitude of his disciples within the bounds of reason and religion. Wolfgang Goethe perhaps the greatest European poet ever wrote about Prophet Muhammad. He is a prophet and not a poet and therefore his Quran is to be seen as divine law and not as a book of a human being made for education or entertainment.